One of the most common objections that we hear over here at Forecaster whenever people are trying to decide how to go about building their financial model is, you know, why don't I just pay one of my friends who's really good at Excel or this person that I know that's really great at finance, why don't I just give them a small percentage of my company and they will essentially build my financial model for free. And we heard this so many times that it really inspired me to shoot a video about this very topic and talk about why giving up equity at the early stages of your startup for transactional things is generally a bad idea. So whenever I say transactional things, what I'm talking about are specific things that don't necessarily require any high level strategy or something that perhaps is just a point in time exercise. So this can be things like setting up your startup. This could be building a financial model. This might be doing your accounting. This could be some point in time legal work. Just anything that is point in time that's not long term value you. That's not somebody that's actually going to be sticking around helping you build the company for the long haul. So the reason generally that I recommend not giving up equity for these types of transactional things in the early days is because it's going to end up being so much more expensive than the actual dollar amount that you're going to need to pay for the service to begin with. So just to throw some real dollars behind you, because I like doing the math for folks just to make my point very, very clear. Let's say that you have a friend that wants to build a financial model for you. And they say, look, just give me 1% of the company. I'll build you the world's greatest financial model. I will spend a ton of time doing this. And it's going to give you anything you're ever going to need in this spectrum for this fundraiser, for whatever it is that you're looking to use that financial model for. So if you give that person 1% equity in your company, and your goal is, let's say, to sell that company one day for $100 million, even if you go through all the rounds of dilution, if you go on to raise millions and millions of dollars, of venture capital and you dilute that down let's say that you're doing five rounds of fundraising, you take an average dilution hit of let's say 20% per round. So that 1%, once all of that's done, is actually just worth 0.3277%. So it's a, a little bit over a third of a percent after all of the raising is done. So that dollar amount after all of the dilution is done is going to be $327,680. So that dollar amount is going to absolutely dwarf any dollar amount that you're spending to get that financial model built in the early days. And this logic applies to everything, not just financial modeling. It applies to people that want to do your taxes, your accounting, any kind of legal work, any kind of consultation, anything like that. So generally your cost of equity is going to be your most expensive type of financing. And the reason that people in the early days think that giving up equity for a service is essentially getting that services free is because the business hasn't started yet. It doesn't feel real yet. It's not a real thing. The cash isn't actually coming in. You haven't raised any money. You don't have any employees. So essentially you feel like you're giving away nothing in exchange for something. So it feels like a really, really good transaction. The problem with that is as soon as that starts to become real, and as soon as you actually start seeing the revenue, and as soon as you start actually seeing some success with the business, you're really going to feel the cost of that equity. And you're really, really going to regret that decision very very, very, very early on of giving up a portion of your equity for this thing that you may have just been able to shell out a couple hundred dollars or maybe a couple thousand dollars in order to get done. It's going to end up being a lot more expensive in the long haul. So my advice generally, whenever it comes to trading services for equity is one of two things, either just shell out the money. If it's not a ton of money and it's not going to cause undue, intense, undue financial stress for you, I recommend just shelling out the funds and invest in your business because the cost of equity goes both ways. If I invest dollars that I have into my business and I'm able to achieve any kind of success with that business, I am much more likely to get a higher rate of return on my dollars than I am by, let's say, putting it in the bank or something like that. If I put a thousand dollars in my business and over five years, I go on to sell that business for a hundred million dollars, that's an insane return on investment versus if I just take those dollars and keep them in the bank and make four or 5% per year. So I recommend just, if it's not going to break the bank, just spend the money on the resource 
resources, do anything that you can in order to make sure that the business survives and thrives. So that's my first recommendation. If that is just not an option for you, if you just don't have any money, my secondary recommendation would be to start putting together an advisory board for your business to help with things that you need help with. So in this case, let's say that you need a financial model built and you have absolutely no money. There's no way that you can spend any money to get this built professionally. What you may wanna do is go through your network and try to find somebody who's very, very, very strong in finance that will not only build a financial model for you, but they will continue to stick around for the life cycle of the company to continue to advise you on things related to finance. So this might not be somebody that just builds you a financial model for a fundraiser to help you manage cash and then goes away and you never hear from them again. This would be somebody that would build you that financial model and they would continue to meet with you on a regular cadence. Maybe it's quarterly in exchange for a percentage of your company. Now, I recommend if you go this route, you want to make sure that this is somebody that can continue to advise you for a long period of time, all the way up through multiple rounds of funding for whenever you're generating significant revenue. This is somebody that should be able to continue to add strategic value over time, not just a point in time piece of value to build a financial model or something like that. My second recommendation is to always, always, always make sure that the equity that you give this person is vesting over a period of time. So that way, if this person ghosts you, perhaps they do what you originally agreed to the original transaction, and then you just never hear from them again. Essentially, you can stop the vesting of that equity and you can get those shares back and you didn't waste equity so that you don't have dead equity on the cap table. So hopefully this was useful for you all. This is just another way of thinking through the cost of equity and when should you give up equity and when should you shell out cash. In general, equity is going to be your most expensive capital. So try to hold on to it as much as you can in the early days. Or if you do give some away, just be really smart about it. Try to find somebody that's going to be able to grow with the company. That's not just going to give you this one-off piece of work and then disappear forever. So hopefully this is helpful.